Have you ever felt manipulated, disrespected, or controlled in a relationship? If so, you may have experienced what is known as a toxic relationship. These types of relationships are characterized by a consistent pattern of harmful behaviors, which can take on many forms. Subtle signs might include a constant feeling of unease or discomfort. You may find that you're always walking on eggshells, afraid to express your thoughts or feelings for fear of causing conflict. On the other hand, overt signs of toxicity can be more apparent. These might involve outright disrespect, manipulation, or even abuse. It's important to remember that toxicity isn't confined to romantic relationships. It can surface in friendships, family relationships, and even in the workplace. Recognizing these signs is the first step to making informed decisions about your relationships. It's about empowering yourself to seek healthier connections that respect your boundaries, honor your feelings, and contribute positively to your overall well-being. Emotional manipulation is often subtle, but its effects can be profound. As we journey on this path of understanding, it's essential to recognize the subtle tactics of emotional manipulation in toxic relationships. Imagine a puppeteer controlling a puppet, pulling strings to determine every move. This is what emotional manipulation can feel like. Manipulators often use guilt, fear, or obligation to sway your decisions or emotions. They may play the victim, twist your words, or even gaslight you, making you question your own reality. But here's the thing, you're not a puppet. Asserting your boundaries is a vital strategy in combating these tactics. It's about knowing your worth, understanding your emotions, and standing firm in your truth. It's about saying, no, this isn't right for me, and refusing to be swayed by manipulative behaviors. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your emotional health. In fact, it's necessary. Protecting your emotional well-being is crucial to maintaining healthy relationships. Control and dominance can infringe upon your autonomy. Let's delve into how these dynamics manifest in relationships. It's not always about the big decisions like where to live or what to do for a living. It can also be about the small ones, like where to eat dinner or what movie to watch. When one person consistently makes these choices without considering the other's preferences, it's a sign of control. Dominance, on the other hand, can show up as one person always having the final say or their opinions and ideas being valued more. It's not about healthy debate or compromise, it's about one person's needs, wants, and ideas taking precedence over the others. Sometimes these signs are subtle. You might feel like your voice is not being heard or your opinions are not valued. But recognizing these behaviors is the first step towards establishing a healthier power dynamic. Recognizing these behaviors can help you establish a healthier power dynamic. Mutual respect is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship. It's about understanding and valuing each other's needs, feelings, and boundaries. But in a toxic relationship, this respect is often missing. So how do you spot this lack of respect? Let's look at some signs. Disrespect can manifest as constant criticism or belittling, where one partner persistently undermines the other's self-esteem. It can also appear as boundary violations, where one person ignores or dismisses the other's clearly stated limits. This can range from physical boundaries to emotional ones like the need for personal space or time alone. Additionally, a lack of respect might be evident when one person consistently makes decisions that affect both partners without consulting the other. Remember, these are just a few examples. Disrespect can take many forms, and it's important to trust your instincts when something feels off. By recognizing these signs, you can better protect your boundaries and well-being. Toxic relationships can take a heavy toll on your mental and emotional health. It's like carrying a heavy backpack while trying to climb a steep hill. The weight slows you down, drains your energy, and makes it that much harder to reach the top. The impact may be subtle at first, maybe you've been feeling more tired than usual or you've lost interest in things you used to enjoy. You may find yourself constantly on edge anticipating the next argument or criticism. Perhaps you've noticed changes in your appetite or sleep patterns, or maybe you're struggling with feelings of sadness, anxiety, or low self-esteem. These are all signs that a toxic relationship may be affecting your well-being. Remember, it's not just about surviving but thriving, it's about feeling good, being happy, and living your life to the fullest. To diminish the impact, it's important to practice self-care. This could mean setting aside time for relaxation, pursuing hobbies, or spending time with loved ones. Prioritizing self-care and vitality is essential in navigating toxic relationships. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness but a step towards empowerment. It's a mantra we all need to remember especially when we're navigating the stormy waters of toxic relationships. It's easy to feel isolated, to feel like you're the only one going through this, but the truth is, 
you're not alone. There are people ready and willing to lend a hand, to listen, to provide guidance. When you're stuck in a toxic relationship, it's like being tangled in a thorny bush. It's hard to find your way out, and every move you make seems to only entangle you further. But reaching out to someone, be it friend, family or professional, is like someone extending a hand to help you out of that prickly situation. Friends and family often provide comfort and solace. They remind you of your worth, of the strength that lies within you. They're your cheerleaders, your support system, and they can give you the emotional boost you need to take the necessary steps towards freeing yourself from the toxicity. But sometimes, the situation might be too complex, too overwhelming. And that's when professionals come into play. Therapists, counselors, psychologists, they're equipped with the skills and knowledge to help you understand and navigate the intricacies of toxic relationships. They can provide you with strategies to protect your emotional well-being, and they can help you rebuild your sense of self that might have been eroded by the toxicity. And remember, there's no shame in seeking help, it's not a reflection of your strength or capability. On the contrary, it's a testament to your resilience. It's an acknowledgement that you're taking charge of your life, that you're not letting the toxicity define you. Remember, you don't have to face toxic relationships alone. There are always resources available to help you navigate these challenging dynamics. You're not just surviving, you're empowering yourself, and that's a journey you don't have to take alone. Thank you for watching. If you have experiences with toxic relationships, feel free to leave a comment. It could help someone stuck in the same situation. Let's be a community that helps each other out in these troublesome times.